Hello, welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to trace the ChatGPT logo. We're going to be recreating the ChatGPT logo, so let's import the logo. I have the one I downloaded from the internet. Okay, here it is. Just drop the logo, okay. Let's place it at the center zoom in a bit all right to avoid this image from moving up and down we can actually lock the image so you just right click on the image and lock the image so that way you don't have it moving up and down all right so you can uh, also decide but level of transparency you can also just zoom in with any of the pen tool any of the freehand tool using the pizza tool okay this creates so this was created from a polygon so I just get a perfect corner from this polygon Okay, get the polygon and make it sit side from this angle. Just get the polygon right here. Okay, so we just have our own perfect shape. Uh, so these are polygon, right? I can. Um, with the plus key just duplicate it convert it to cover break this contour apart I just want to get a straight line delete all the other parts So this is what we have here. I just extend this. Okay. Don't just to change the color so you just see how it blends out. Get this other part. Okay. So we can zoom out a little. Just duplicate this and flip. Get it down here, increase it a bit. You just do this like a professional, okay? So I don't want us to take, I don't want this video to take so much time, so I just uh, hold on control. Select any one of this line. And just move the one to align. All right. So now I get the ellipse to make a circle holding down control. So I just get this part. Just make sure you get this circle into shape. Okay, I think this is okay. This is okay right here. Increase to duplicate. Right click and left click up to just drop that to duplicate that. Okay. So having this uh, group the book circle, just position them properly. 
it have a nice position then I'll duplicate it again to get this back so this is all we need and our logo is ready so with the smart fit tool uh, we need a line here so we need a line here okay so with the smart fit tool we can now fill up this part because the why this is happening is because there is an opening here so just make sure when you are doing your own you take note of this okay so i'll just close up that opening Okay, um, I can close that up. Let's make sure this circle is aligned properly. Let this also overlap. Make sure the the circles overlap. Let them meet properly. That will help you when you're creating your image all right so let's go again with the smart fill tool fill here get here something is wrong somewhere okay Now we have all the parts so we can select code, shift, click to select all the other parts, weld it. Okay, so that is what we have here. I can change the color. So right now, I think we are free to take off. So let's unlock this guy. And delete the one in the background so we have essential part of this logo we can just change the color then now we want to get the shape so I'll define the center click on this part so this is the center we are going to use the center of this polygon and we are transformed to you can actually uh, do this manually just uh, double click define the center then you screw okay control r control r control r control r okay but when you do this you see that you have some little lapses so to avoid these lapses let's get an accurate measurement so i use the transform tool so how many sides of the polygon has has six sides so we want to rotate this part of the logo into the six sides so which is 360 degrees so we divide 360 by six which is going to give us a 60 uh, just do that for you so you check you be sure 360 360 degrees divided by six so that's 60 so I'll enter 60 on the angle and the number of copies I want to make is 6 you can choose to leave it at 1 and just watch the step watch it go okay you can also choose to make it have 6 of them at once so I think something is not right quite right here yeah, because when we move the circle so let's um, let's uh, let's do this let's get this guy back okay so 
So this I think we we'll have exactly what we want. Red, red. I change the color. Okay. Define the center. Sixty degrees. Spin. Okay. I still need to move this circle a bit. All right, so let's go again. I enjoy the fact that it is happening so you just see that um, it's a process so when you are making yours you just have to be very careful don't be scared to make mistake okay until you get it right another thing okay let's use a grid line to mark this center that could be another reason why we are not uh, getting the correct spin. Alright, so you zoom in here and you see that we just selected. Okay, we have the correct center right now. And then uh, this time, let me do it. Apply. Wow, so, voila. That is it. This is how we get the track GPT logo, and you can see this is really exceptional. Okay, let me take this aside. Okay, we can weld this together. Alright, so. If this is your first time of getting to see my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Share it because this is actually going to help a lot of persons on how to create logos. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. So this is Pat. G P D. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Turn on the notification button so you be the first to be alerted by the next time our video is coming up. See you in our next video. Thanks for watching.